everybody and welcome back to a rather orky on the table guys because after all it is October um, not that we've had very much of a good October and I'm actually not too sure when this video is going to be released because whilst I am recording it during October my PC is categorically fucked so uh, it might not actually get out until November-ish we'll have to see how much it costs me to get it repaired and how long it actually takes to rep get repaired I'm not sure what's wrong with it I think the motherboard's died on it or maybe even the CPU both of which uh, are rather expensive to replace so uh, we'll have to see when this actually comes out but I'm recording it now for you guys during October as you can see by all the detritus and all the um, amounts of plastic card there is um, yeah quite a lot of um, stuff uh, that I've actually been getting on with um, first and foremost it was my birthday at the beginning of October so um, I decided to get a load of orc stuff into my birthday and do you know what god damn it my awesome family and my awesome wife delivered I got some cool orc stuff for, for my birthday um, the first thing that I actually decided to do, I decided, well, do you know what? Every time I kind of go in to do uh, orcs again, uh, at the end, of, you know, after I, you know, when I'm getting back into them, I decided, you know what? Let's start with a new war boss. So I decided to make a new war boss. Why not? And I used a model that I've been thinking of doing uh, using for a while. It's the uh, the Uruk Mega Boss. Ugh. I feel fucking dirty having said the word Uruk. It's an orc. It's O-R-C for fantasy or O-R-K for fucking uh, sci-fi. What a load of shit. Games Workshop. Whoever decided to call them Uruks and just all the fucking fantasy name changes. If I ever meet you, I'm going to give you the firmest, most hardest slap you've ever had in your entire life. It's going to be so fucking hard that your fucking mum will feel it. And it's going to be a fucking so hard that it leaves a mark for many, many years to come. But anyway, I digress. Rant and rage over. Here is the new war boss that I have been working on. Now let me just uh, pop the uh, front light on, just so I can get a bit of a bit of a better, um, a bit of some bit of light on the subject. Well, there we go. As you can see, guys, here is my BC war boss. He's not got his iron gob on yet. Definitely having an iron gob, um, just because <coughs> it's going to make painting it a lot easier if I don't have the iron gob on it to start with. Uh, but yeah, guys, so this is quite clearly a mega armoured war boss, and I'm very very pleased with the way this guy turned out. If you guys have been following on Instagram, you guys will see that there is a lot of images of this guy on Instagram because he's 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 just really good. He's one of my favourite conversions to date, I think. Speaking of the Instagram, guys, if you're not on the Instagram yet, don't forget the link is in the doobly-doo down below. Uh, you can go there and give me a follow and uh, see little sneak peeks of what I've been up to behind the scenes and also little sneak peeks of what I've been up to in my day-to-day -day life as well. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we have an orc war boss made out of the um, the mega boss from the uh, Age of Sigma range. Um, really, really nice model to work with. Interestingly enough, um, it is quite a, a stupid model to go together. There's no, there is like literally no posability with this model whatsoever. It is all one piece, practically snap fit. Uh, well, well, by by one piece, I mean it's like there's no there's no angles that like you can't alter the arms or the legs or whatever. And it's just a bit of a ball ache, really, to work with. But, luckily, I like the pose. He's kind of at doing a come-at-me-bro type stance. Uh, but anyway, so, what have I done with this heavily, heavily converted, heavily modified piece of kit? Well, um, first and foremost, I decided I needed to change the feet. So, we have some Mega Armored Knob feet here. I was worried that they kind of look a little bit big, but they kind of suit him as well at the same time. I might go back in. I might kind of, like shorten these feet down but I really wanted to keep this little rivet down here and obviously I couldn't shave it anymore because I'd be shaving it into the actual ankle which I didn't want. Uh, next thing I decided to work on was obviously the, the knees. I needed to make a little a bit more 40k-ish so I got the um, shoulder plates that I had lying around from um, various orc kits and uh, stood them over the knees to make these great big spiky knee pads. Um, Zooming in more closely, you guys can see there, um, we've got some little chains again for the Mega Armor kit and uh, some little tiny like little uh, glyphs from the Battle Wagon kit. Um, just wanted to make it a little bit more different, make it a little bit less obvious at a first glance that I've used the Mega Boss, so I kind of added some dags going on here. Moving around we have is Gun Army, he's got a combi uh, shooter or combi Mega Blaster and Scorcher. It's basically a whatever the fuck gun I say it is <laughs> when I'm actually using it in game. But that was made uh, by clipping off his actual arm and using a left a bit from the Cassell and Robots from my Mechanicum army, combined with a bunch of looter and burner stuff and some extra spiky bits as well. 
Uh, moving round here, we have the uh, power pack, which is actually the torso of a Cromlech cyborg um, or Robork, however you want to well, however you want to call them. And it just look it, it fit quite well with a little tiny little power pack, little exhaust. I made a bigger exhaust going down the side, obviously. And then we got some power cables going out of there, one into the gun, one into the claw. Um, it also adds a nice little shelf for his little Gretchen um, uh, guy uh, to uh, sit on the top. Now I convert. In fact, I'm going to take the Gretchen guy off because he's um, actually only just blue tacked on. This is Nibbler. I'm going to call him, oh no, Niblet. I'm going to call him Niblet. I don't know why. Just, there's a really cool name. Um, not your standard kind of Gretchen. He's using the, the head from the, I think it's the boys sprue, I think, that you get. Because you get like a grot in a little backpack with chewing on a little bullet. And then this um, tuft here, I think, is from the um, flash gits. Not flash gits. Um, the knob uh, sprue. Just, you know, because to show he's the boss grot, you know, he's, he's got a bit of a top knot going on with a skull. Um, not really much conversion, but I have drilled the barrels of his little grot blaster, which looks really cool. And he's going to add a nice little splash of colour to the miniature. Um, so moving up for, uh, further around, uh, we've got um, some little boss poles that I've stuck on. Uh, some more, like, uh, bits of plastic card just to, like, beef him up a little bit. And then on top, we've got a uh, rocket launcher assembly, which is a, a cyclo missile pod, and plus a little extra rocket from from the uh, flash gits. Not flash gits, I keep saying flash gits. Looters. Fucking looters from the looters sprue. And then a little targeting reticle because I like the idea that Niblet here kind of sits on back and Niblet's, Niblet's in charge of firing the rocket so he's got a little little cheeky viewfinder going on there which is pretty cool. He's like looking right down at you like, hey, I'm going to shoot you in the face of the rocket. Um, the uh, shoulder pads. Again, more little bits from the uh, from little you know arm plates what I had left over, and again uh, old 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 boss poles. And underneath that we've got a uh, Terminator um, storm shield, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, once I clipped away and drilled away all the because this model originally has like a really big um, like a uh, skull on the side of it uh, on his shoulder. I, it, it had this like nice flat area, so I thought that would make good for a, a cool like shoulder pad kind of assembly. Uh, and then the face, as you guys can see, is Gazgul Maguruk Thraka's head. And I have four of these, weirdly enough. I only seem to ever remember buying one Gazgul Thraka model. Um, so I don't know how I've ended up with four Gazgul heads. Very, very strange. And then, guys, we have the biggest, the meanest, most awesomest power claw of the lot. We have Gazgul's actual power claw. Perfectly cut off and perfectly positioned on the new model. There's a nice big pin running all the way through there just to um, substantiate it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm using Gazgul's um, iron garb as well. It's going to be really, really cool. Can't wait to paint this guy up. Um, actually, after I finish the video, I'm going to start getting some paint on this guy. So we will see how he turns out in the future. Um, other things I've been doing. Um, <coughs> I've been uh, an absolute massive idiot and I've been leaving my fucking glue... Um, open. That's been open for about six days. Surprised it's not all evaporated. Um, yeah, other stuff that I've got. I decided to um, <coughs> get. Uh, I built uh, to build a battle wagon because out of all the kits that I've had, I've never actually owned a battle wagon kit. So as you can see here, it's not quite standard. Um, not quite the standard battle wagon kit. The back end is. The front end isn't. The front end is actually made from the um, what should we call it? One of the track. One of the trackers. From the um, <coughs> Sector Mechanicus um, uh, Galvanic Servo Haulers. I think it's it's the back end of this one here. Without the, the front scoop kind of thing. Because I wanted to kind of add my own um, uh, front dozer blade to that. But anyway, let's let's have a look at this uh, overall construction. So, uh, we've got uh, the you know, standard back bit. The front bit is the, the interesting part because we've got some really nice tracks. I really like the idea of like, all tracks about our wagons. It just makes them look extra heavy and extra meaty. Um, so, we've got some cool like engine worky bits here, which are going to paint up really nice with some uh, effects and some washes and some engine oil. We've got an awesome uh, engine uh, resin engine in there from uh, Foxbox, just it's just really nice. It just looks so worky. It's amazing. Moving around to the front, we've got this awesome dozer blade. Um, I'm not sold at the moment on this front one here. I definitely like the side um, circular saws because it just looks like if it drives past someone, it's just going to fucking kneecap them. And I really quite like how aggressive that feels. Oh, we had a little power spike, then the light's flicking on and off. That's probably what killed my fucking PC. Um, yeah, then we got some of the, uh, the usual orky teeth kind of thing going on here. Then we got the little little, little Rolls Royce uh, wannabe little, little skull going on at the front. Um, we got a shooter going on here. Um, there's going to be the orc with the with the um, binoculars sticking out there again to add a little bit more of a splash of colour. 
Um, but you might have noticed, um, it's a little bit bare, um, <coughs> this uh, battle wagon. And I wanted to kind of like have a, uh, first and foremost, uh, a ride for my war boss. And um, he fits in there pretty well. You know, he's, 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 he's quite comfortable in there. Literally only he can get in. It's crazy how not to scale the vehicles are uh, in Warhammer 40,000. Um, but yeah, so I decided I wanted um, to kind of have uh, a few other little whistles and bells on there. So I thought to myself, you know what would be really cool um, if I had um, a hard case on there, you know, so I, an alternate hard case that I could interchange as and when. So I made uh, a hard case or an art case, whatever they say there. So that's basically made out of an old, old, old <coughs> Lehman Russ hole that I had. Um, and it got some little, some little sponsons in there. Just I'm gonna have some grots in there without the, you know, the um, the sniper grots, uh, just hanging out. And then I'm gonna have another sniper grot in the uh, back of it here, this little back tray. Uh, just nice little, um, you know, extra storage bulks it out quite a bit. Uh, and then I was like, oh, do you know what I really want? I really want um, a, a front. Oh shit! I really want a, a front turret uh, to that. So I made a front turret for it. Um, <laughs> so. So there's, there's that, we've got a zappy, nice zappy uh, front turret. Uh, and then I was like, do you know what this thing really, really needs? This thing really needs uh, another another turret. So I was like, okay, cool. So I made another turret for it, which is the actual battle whacking turret itself. And this is like the most super daiquiri uh, turret we've got. We've got the actual cannon. We've got a, a big shooter on there. And then we've even got, which I found tucked away in a random bits box, an old, oh shit, it's falling apart. Uh, an old uh, whirlwind missile turret. But then I was like, you know what this turret really needs? This turret really needs another fucking turret <laughs> sticking on the top right there. So I decided, I know, we'll have another shooter turret. There's going to be another Gretchen sticking out there. And it's getting quite tall. And um, I'm really, really li liking the way it's going so far. <coughs> um, and then I was like, do you know what this really needs? This really needs some oomph in close combat. So what I did, I um, used these kind of like hard points here. And I put a magnet in there, and I magnetized some uh, mechanical arms to it. And then I was like, do you know what else this needs? This needs another mechanical arm on the other side. So I magnetized another one right there. So we've got a grabby arm, and we've got a rippy, pinchy arm here. And it looks like someone's kind of made a dreadnought, combined it with a truck, and then that's how it came. That's how what happened. Um, however, there's still plenty of room for improvement on this mechanical fucking beast. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to have um, the grot, <coughs> one of the grots with a gun uh, at the top, at the very, very top turret right here. Um, just, just because I can, because because why the fuck not? Um, I think I'm also going to have um, the orcs, because uh, you get like, quite a few orc boys um, with the, well, you don't get quite a few, you get like four orc boys with the battle wagon kit. They're going to all be hanging out the sides with more shooters. There's gonna be, I'm going to have another orc, let me just turn it around on the back. I'm going to have another orc. Hanging out the back of this thing with with another shooter, and then on the other side here with another shooter, um, and then I think even on the top, on the very very top, just again because I can and because there's a hole there, I'm gonna somehow fix another shooter. Oh no, it's all falling apart! Ah oh, shit, the bed. Um, because I'm gonna because there's a hole here and it's like, it's like another little anchor point. I'm gonna have another gun sticking out of there. It's gonna be covered in guns. I don't care if I can't use him. It's just awesome. And it's orky. And he goes daka 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 daka. But as, as a result of this, <clears throat> with all the crazy naming that's going on with the new GW orc uh, buggies and stuff, I am going to call this the Snaz Boom Daka Wagon. Because it goes snaz, it goes boom, and it goes daka daka daka, and it is indeed a wagon. Um, but anyway guys, please let me know what you think. My battery's about to run out, so I'm going to have to make this quick, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment in the doobly doo down below what you think of the uh, wagon and the boss, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and all that bollocks. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again. See you now, and goodbye, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Goodbye!